During episode number 9 of the House of the Dragon, we saw how Rhaenys escaped with her dragon, after Aegon Targaryen was crowned king. Although she had every reason to ally herself with House Hightower, she decided to confront Alicent, showing what a queen is supposed to be made of. But why didn't Rhaenys really want to ally with the Greens? And now that she has escaped from King's Landing, where is she headed? In this video we will be analyzing the actions of Rhaenys, the queen that never was, before the final episode of the House of the Dragon. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Fonka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, just subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on November 20th. The reasons why Rhaenys was in King's Landing were due to family problems. Vaymond, the brother of King Corlys Valerion, claimed the throne in the absence of his older brother. This man thought that the Hightowers would help him by yielding the throne of Driftmark to him, in order to prevent Rhaenyra's son from becoming the successor. Now, in a recent video I mentioned that possibly Vaymond did this on Otto Hightower's orders. It is no coincidence that this man felt so confident as to challenge Rhaenys and Rhaenyra during an audience before the king. The last episode of the House of the Dragon showed us that Otto Hightower had already been making preparations for Aegon's succession for quite some time. With Vaemon in control of Driftmark, the Hightowers secured a great ally. But they did not expect Viserys to arrive and ruin their day. Unfortunately that night, the king loses his life. Now the Greens had a big problem, for with Vaemon's death they had only one option left convince Rhaenys to join the Queen's party. However, the Hightowers know that Rhaenys could become a great threat. At the moment Viserys loses his life, they close the doors of the room where Rhaenys is, turning her into a prisoner. We do not know for sure how long Rhaenys was trapped in her room, but we know it was long enough for her to understand what was happening without anyone telling her. The moment Alicent enters the room and hints at what happened, Rhaenys accuses her of usurping the throne. The fact that Rhaenys uses these words is a direct statement of where she stands. But there are many reasons why Rhaenys could not join the green side. The first reason is her own history. Rhaenys was next in line to succeed King Jaehaerys. However, he appointed Viserys Targaryen. During several moments in the House of the Dragon, we have seen how Corlys Valerion mentions that Rhaenys was supposed to be the queen by right, also this is something Alicent tells her. But Viserys was chosen to avoid conflict over having a female queen. Rhaenys did not have the support to fight for the crown, nor did she wish to harm her cousin. Rhaenys knew that although they may have made the wrong decision, she would respect Viserys' position, because that was the wish of King Jaehaerys. The word is too important. Rhaenyra offered to marry off her children in order to strengthen the ties between the two families. Corlys Valerion loved Rhaenyra's children, and Rhaenys had to respect that. Alicent, however, intended that Rhaenys decide to betray the legitimate successor without even discussing it with Corlys. Corlys Valerion was ill, but he had not lost his life. So if Rhaenys betrayed Rhaenyra, she would also be betraying Corlys Valerion's word. In one of the previous episodes, Rhaenys warned Rhaenyra that the men would see the city burn, before seeing a woman sitting on the Iron Throne. In this last episode, at the end of the episode, we saw a house burning, thus fulfilling the words of Rhaenys. The queen that never was, knows that the Greens are stealing the throne from the rightful successor. Although Rhaenyra has not always been to Rhaenys' liking, she sees herself reflected. She sees how the men of the kingdom are conspiring to undermine her rule, and that no one is doing anything to stop it. Worse, she knows that the Hightowers got to her because they want her dragon. 
we must understand that Rhaenys was at incredible risk in this episode, for if she did not cooperate with Allison, the next step would be to take her life, and then for one of the Sons of the Greens to claim the dragon from the Queen that never was. Allison's actions shocked Rhaenys, but then she realizes that Allison is just a pawn of the men in the kingdom. Nothing has changed. The decision the Queen that never was is faced with, is to betray her word, break her commitment to her husband, and support usurpers. Only because Alicent tries to manipulate her by saying she should have been queen. Now, Rhaenys escapes through the streets of King's Landing, and ends up in the place of Igon's coronation. The same place where Rhaenys' dragon was kept. Rhaenys then goes and looks for her dragon, and climbs with her dragon to the surface. And she stands in front of the high towers. With just one word Rhaenys could have ended the war before it started. However, Rhaenys did not say the word we so much wanted to hear when we saw that scene. Dracarys. She simply flew away with her dragon. But why didn't Rhaenys put an end to the high towers? Igon had just officially become king. Although this is a usurpation, Rhaenys respects the ranks. Besides, Killing a king in function means a declaration of war. The whole kingdom would go against Driftmark. Rhaenys, all she could do was to take her dragon and escape. Also, possibly the reason Rhaenys didn't finish everyone off, is because despite everything, she sees Alicent as a victim. She sees how she only wishes to protect her children. Something she knows all too well. Rhaenys heads to Dragonstone the place where Rhaenyra and Daemon live, to warn them of the Hightower's usurpation. In one of the images from the last episode of this season, we can see how Rhaenys is in Dragonstone, and warns everyone that the Greens are coming against Rhaenyra and her children. Rhaenys has taken her place next to the real queen, and now they are ready for battle. The great absentee in these episodes has been Corlys Valerion. But possibly we will see him in this final episode, or perhaps it will be mentioned that he finally lost his life, and Rhaenyra's son will be the one to take his position in Driftmark. The tension continues to rise, and the war for the succession to the throne has begun. But tell me. What do you think about all this? What would you have done? Would you have wiped out the High Towers? Or would you have run away to declare war? And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.